everyone. So we are here with four of the recipients of the Youth Authors Award. And we have a banquet that will be coming up to honor them on November 23rd. So we wanted to talk a little bit to these young people and just figure out who they are, what their books are about, and to get a little bit more details about what's going on with them next. So we're going to start here with this young lady. So tell me your name, the name of your book, and a little bit about your book. And can you hold it up so everyone can see? All right. My name is Mariah Felice Long Gray. Um, my book, my book is called The Adventures of the Power Twins, and my book is about two twins, well, twins, for kids that are younger than them who accidentally get powers and they start fighting evil creatures and villains in the village. Okay, wonderful. And you, young man? My name is Josiah. This, my book is about a boy named Joshua McDillidor. Okay. A young boy that can see angels and he encourage um, other kids to see angels and he use his special powers this uh, of calling angels when people need help oh that's really cool and you young man my name is Isaiah Thompson and my book is about I keep getting mad and it's about a first grader a first grader named Kurt who Can you hold it up a first grader with named Kurt that's dealing with anger and stuff. Okay. And for this one, it's the same thing, but it says, I keep forgetting stuff. And this is about Kurt forgetting all his stuff, like taking a shower, uh, cleaning up his room, and all that. So you actually have two books that you have written. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. And tell us about you and your book. My name is Keelan Williams, and my book is about me getting ready to be a big brother. Okay, okay. What's, your, what's the title of your book? Big Brother. Awesome, okay. All right, so I want to know a little bit about your inspiration for writing, because you guys are young. So how did you guys get started writing at such a young age? So at school, I know I go on Google Docs when I was in elementary school and stuff like that and I used to write like small things and stuff like that and then my mom wrote a book which is you <laughs> so I used to write small skits of this book I didn't actually want it to be, I didn't know it was going to actually be a book um and I, until my mom got a computer I started typing I was just playing around writing a chapter book and then my mom just read it and like oh my gosh this is amazing so she decided to put it out there and stuff like that Okay. Tell me about you. What so, was your inspiration for writing? How did you get started? So one day when I was sitting on the couch with my mom, my mom said, can you see angels? And I said yes. And then, my, and then soon we got an idea from a lady that said, your son's to write a book and that's me. And then I wrote the book, and then we got it published, and then we illustrated it. And then that's how my book got out there. Wonderful. Well, tell me about your book. So my book is, well, how I got the, the inspiration is, like, in first grade, we had a class assignment to write something about your feelings, and I thought in my mind, well, it's a good idea to write a book, so I have wrote this book and for this this book in first grade and for I keep forgetting stuff is the same inspiration. And I wrote this in third grade. Awesome. Um I wrote this book, um, from the excitement of my mom being pregnant pregnant with my little sister. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. And can you tell me what's next for you guys? So you guys have written one book, and as well as he's written a second book. What's next for you? What do you have going on in your life next? Well, I already started writing a couple more. I started writing a couple more books that I'm probably going to publish. Um, I have a whole business 
also I make peanut butter cookies and I sell t-shirts and book bags and these duffel bags like a traveling bag or something like that and I think I might start selling something else in my business but I'm not really sure but I know I'm gonna do this till I'm 100 <laughs> years old because that's how long I want to live okay. but yeah um, I'm working on uh, illustrating. Okay. So, um, I already got the name down. It's called Joshua Eventures. Wow. So, um, they moved into a new house, and then uh, he was playing with his friend named Joey. Okay. And then, when they opened their closet, they found this whole new world, and they wanted to explore, and then they said, Mom, come down here, guess what we found? Okay, and what about you? Is there a third book coming? Yes, there is. We don't, we don't have a name yet, and we might. It is coming, but it might be coming out in December or something like that. I don't honestly know. Okay. Um, I'm working on another book, and also, um, I'm I'm going to be an actor, and that's all. Okay, wonderful. So this is probably the last question that I want to ask you all as young authors. What would you say to another young person that decided that they wanted to write a book or start a business or? do something at a young age, what would you say to them to help them get started? So to start, you first want to write down ideas first of everything. You might want to draw a picture of something or like a blueprint of how it's going to be. You have to plan it out first and then that's when you start buying the materials you need and stuff like that and then you start creating and you just like have to start like setting it up, you have to have a plan first, because if you don't have a plan and you just start doing something, you might mess something up because you didn't have a plan. You just kept thinking about it. You have to write it down somewhere. Okay, that's really great advice. What about you? Um, the advice that I have is just keep on going. Don't, don't look behind of who's trying to copy you or who's trying to um, do stuff like you but you're the only one that is perfect. So write a book and then you can be awesome like us. Okay, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be awesome like you guys. <laughs> okay, what about you? So like for, for like other people, like they should grab all the materials that they need to write a book. Well, first you need an inspiration, and then get all the materials and like, you know, like some piece of paper or something like that, and then just write it, write, write the idea down, write the uh, name, and then ask your mom or dad if you can put, if you can, if someone can work on it with you, and then publish out to the world. Awesome. And what about you? What would you say? Um. I would tell them um, keep on going don't, and don't let anybody get in your way of what you're doing. That's really good. Well, there you have it. These are four of our young authors, and they are definitely an inspiration to me, and I hope that they will be an inspiration to you as you move forward in life. And I hope that you will join them for their banquet on November 23rd um, to celebrate their awards for being inspiring young authors. So where can we get these wonderful books that you all have written? Um, you can get my book off of Amazon. Just look up The Adventures of the Power Twins. You can also buy my books at Barbara's Bookstore and you can email me or something on my Facebook page, Crea Creatively Mariah, and that's where you can get my book from. You can get my book um, at Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and uh, AngelDetective.com. You can get my books at Amazon and my website, www.
dot isaiahwthompson.com. You can get my book from my website, keelanwilliams.com. Meet us at our Lord's Banquet on November 20th.